wish I was being dramatic right now. I just actually can't like. <laughs> Take a deep breath in. All right, just breathe. We're just stretching. Is it okay? Mm -hmm. Breathe. Mm -hmm. Good. Very good. You got it, Em. Mm -hmm. My major problem is my upper back. You'll definitely feel it. It's, it's rough. It came from lifting when I was doing incline bench. Okay. And I went to adjust myself and I had too much weight on my back. So yeah. my neck shifted mm -hmm. and it definitely shifted forward to the point where I just felt a pinch and I quit lifting for like a week. Okay. Just and that was it, like three years ago. Just felt it in here or yep. did you feel it in the shoulder? Or did you, have you felt anything in the sh right shoulder at all or just here? I felt it there originally, but throughout the last like three years, if I tried to have perfect posture mm -hmm. or even use the straps that pull your shoulders mm -hmm. back, mm -hmm. my left arm will get slightly tingly. Mm -hmm. So I kind of can't stand like the okay. way I really need to. Okay. So the middle of our ear, our ear hole, should be over the center of our shoulder, right where sort of the seam on your shirt is. And for every inch the head goes forward, your head's about an inch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's, like forward about it's about an inch forward, yeah, from, yeah. from the center. So if you look at me from the side, the ear should line up with that, that and not, not muscling it, nor should it any strap. It should just be where you want to be. Yeah. And the head weighs about 10 pounds. Every inch the head goes forward, the muscles double their workload. So the, think of the neck as like a trunk of a tree, and the roots are down here in the shoulders, right? And so the more forward the tree leans, the more the roots lift up out of the ground. Okay. The holes that the nerves go through get larger when we bend forward, and this is why when you're bringing your when you try to come upright, you're feeling it yeah. in your arm because you're actually getting pressure on the nerve. There's pressure on the nerve all the time, but then you alleviate it by rounding forward. Does that make sense? Yeah. And then we're coming back into it as you stand upright. So the issue is that this position isn't great for making it to 90. Mm -hmm. It's great for maybe you know stability and power. But in terms of longevity, we need the right posture so that the weight of our spine sort of evenly goes over all the segments. What else is going on? Tell me, just, just uh, upper back. It was then, honestly that, and then what I messaged you about mm -hmm. right between my spine mm -hmm. and scapula, right about yeah. maybe a little lower. That's called, we call this the referral pain. So mm -hmm. right on the border of the scapula, the joints in your lower neck. So go ahead and look up for me. See where his, right where that, for the sort of bottom fold is where your neck folds. There is a little bit of folding going out the top, which is good a sign that we don't have just one fold, but the main crease in your neck is here in the lower neck, and that is where the nerves, or well, the joints, when they get irritated, will refer pain to here. So we wanna get your neck bending better in the original spot where it's supposed to bend, which is your atlas and axis here in the upper neck. So we're gonna loosen up that upper neck. Your shoulders need to be back also. Yeah, so for sure. You, you got the- I miss being able to actually be comfortably standing up. We have to actually bring you back Pass to make, it. right, overcorrect, we call it mirror image stretching to make the middle where you want to be. And not by you holding yourself here, it just should be where you want to be. Mm -hmm. And um, go ahead and let me look, at, look straight forward for me. Look just to your range of motion. Turn your head left for me. A little restricted there, yeah. Turn your head right. Where is the worst? Okay, I yeah. I feel that right in the back. And when you turn right, so when, he, when you turn your head to the right, the inflamed joint on your right lower gets compressed, mm -hmm. and that's why you're getting the yeah, referral pain okay. here. And, and you're saying it's the left arm that you get the tingling, not, not, not the right arm. Yeah. Is that weird? You irritate a joint on your right. Yep. Your head will lean away from the joint. That's in the, if you break your right ankle, you'll put weight on your left ankle to get away from the joint okay. that hurts. And then you're going to have the opposite side compressing the nerve because of compensation. Your body's gonna to try to move the hot potato around a little bit. All right, take a deep breath in for me. Head back for me. Let all the air out. Oh boy, how's your wrist, I think? Mm -hmm. <laughs> deep breath in. Exhale. Yeah, deep breath in. Head back. Yeah, way too tight. All right, take a deep breath in. Exhale. Wow, really restricted here. <laughs> really. Tighten your twisting ability. All right, breathe. We're just gonna stretch for a second. All right, one second. Let me bring this shoulder back. There we go. There we go. Wow. Whoa. 
Deep breath in. Exhale. What else I Your ability to rotate comes from every joint participating. Does that mm -hmm. make sense? So what I'm, what, what are you saying? I'm restricted. Well, every joint's not working because you have, your total range of motion is Stop. half of what it should be. And then we'll, the reason why that's a problem is that over time, only certain as, only certain parts of your spine will be doing everything, and those areas will age faster. So we want to have your whole spine age evenly. I got gotcha. you. Exhale. There we go. Okay. Exhale. All right. So face that for me. That almost cracked right there. Just by, <laughs> just by you pulling it all in. Yeah. Just trying to unglue them a little bit. I I traction to if all the joints are mashed together, mm -hmm. you can't move them independently. They're like Jenga pieces. If they're all glued together, we have to unglue them. Right side, you got a bump here on the right. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm just going to side for a second. Breathe. There you go. A lot of joints left. Seven vertebrae in the neck, and typically the lower neck ends up being the area that ages predominantly very quickly. So that happens because the upper neck is not functioning properly, the curve in our neck gets lost, and the head goes forward. Even what you were saying earlier, difficulty breathing, you know, mm -hmm. that happens because the head's forward. The more forward your head goes, the harder it is to inhale deeply. As we change your posture, that all is going to get better. The only way to change posture is through stretching. It's unfortunate. I wish it was possible to just adjust you and <laughs> change your posture. <laughs> Fix it. I, right. I, it, maybe I do foam roll almost Good. every day. All right, excellent. Turn your head left. Here we go. There we go. I got your head. There we go. Just the tuck. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Right there. Yeah, real tight. Wow. Yeah, real tight up here. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Let it go. Wow. Okay. All right. Yeah. He's going to make me earn it. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> Alice is... It wouldn't be possible to experience what you're experiencing if this upper neck was functioning properly, right? Mm -hmm. There has to be a reason. This tightness up here isn't coincidence. This is your cause. The neck is designed to function at the top first, your bottom last. The lower neck is what refers pain to the to your shoulder blades. The sensation down your arm of you know tingling is from the lower neck, not the upper neck. So the upper neck rigidity allows for a lower neck hypermobility. If this was moving, it wouldn't be possible. Yeah. <laughs> your neck would just be functioning normally and you wouldn't be in my office. <laughs> and then you wouldn't have your head forward. The exactly. lower neck being overstressed caused your head to go forward. So it's all telling a story. And then you had a long time driving down here and a lot of picking up boxes. And, oh, that was tough. Right, so you had a lot of things making you stiffer. Well, this is just going to be a... <laughs> <laughs> what do you go to the gym today? <laughs> Jeez. Oh my. That's going to be fun face down. We're going to have fun with that. That's all right. Do oh, what you got to do. <laughs> I'm here for it. Look at that. I need it fixed. Look at that. <laughs> None of these are small. None of these are small blockades. These are all. Part of also what happens is if your upper neck is tight and your lower neck is doing extra, your upper back will actually be recruited to assist in the function of your neck. Okay. And so you'll actually turn with your upper thoracic vertebrae and that also is what inflames that area. That explains a lot. Yep. <laughs> so you're using your chest to turn your neck. Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Fluid. <laughs> Swollen joints. Yeah. Untangled. These little knuckles here, okay. Here we go, breathe. There you go. Glad we brought water. I'll need that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you're fine. Yeah, you do, yeah. do. I'm, I'm combing, untangling this. Mm -hmm. feel it? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm, right there. You don't know what that feels like. Believe me, my father's done everything. <laughs> Anything I've done to you, my dad has done to me. Trying to come down right there. Yeah, it's going down quite a bit. When, it's, when the joint's real swollen, it has to be compressed sometimes for a visit or two. You understand to get it to move mm -hmm. when it's this swollen. I'm going to try to get it to move, but it's just filled with fluid. My dad would call this stuck in the mud. It just mm -hmm. needs to be compressed. And let's see if we can get to move for you. There you go. There it feels better. Place with pain, right? <laughs> Once you get past it, right? Yeah, you're getting there. It's actually really funny. <laughs> This eventually leads to rotator cuff issues. When you hold the shoulder in this forward rotation for a long period of time, mm -hmm. like a rope, 
the rotator cuff tendon is held taut and that I know you're young enough now, but long you leave this like here for a decade, you'll eventually have Bigger rotator problem. cuff issues. Yeah. So it's important that we, you know, glad that you're already aware that the shoulders are forward because it's people don't understand or the world doesn't connect the dots for us that yeah. forward rotate shoulders leads to you know rotator cuff and labrum issues, labral tears and rotator cuff tears. face down in a second. The table prevents you from rounding forward. It's sort of the sort of the what do I say, sneaky ways of the treatment today. <laughs> yeah. Just just laying face down on my table is part of your treatment because it doesn't let you put your head forward. So just being face down for thirty minutes actually stretches your head back. Does that make sense? Yeah it does. All right. So when we work on you in extension and then your body will want to remain in the position that you're in the longest. That makes sense. Many times I'll have a patient unable to even lay face down. Their back is so upset, right, that oh, that's, confronting it's tough. Yeah, yeah. Right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want to get that all stretched out right in there. <laughs> it's worth it. I wish I was being dramatic right now. I just actually can't like... <laughs> Here, this is this will be eventually, and once you compress this for a decade, that cartilage in there will get so worn out that you know constant shoulder pain. It just you gotta, we have to. We're on the early side, I'm glad you're here. Me too. <laughs> we, gotta, we gotta get this. Um. 20, 26 is when full skeletal maturity uh, is arrived. You arrive at that, and that's when posture change becomes. Permanent. More difficult. Well, more difficult. It, it's possible, but it's just that growth plates all harden and posture change is more difficult. So, glad I'm here a year, right. a year before that. Right, right, right. Press back with your. There we go. Okay, it's good. I might have done it when I was adjusting myself on the table. Mm -hmm. They both went. There we go. All right, so yeah. go ahead and put your arm behind your back on the side. I'm afraid of my right side when you get to that one. That's what's been cramping for the last like week. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. I feel that. <laughs> <laughs> That's an injury. That's a spasm. What is that? We're going to get it. Uh -huh. We'll dig it out of there. It's starting to untangle, but. All right. Right there. You have a large favoritism 
to, chuck, to tucking your chin down. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And that makes the joints all swollen. And so even just laying face down for a little bit, we might be able to get your neck to move at the end of the visit. We'll just try it again, but yeah, we gotta get compressed a little bit more. Yeah, no, <laughs> bad. It's like when my dental hygienist works on a part of my mouth that I know is not the cleanest, yeah. and they don't say anything for a while. I'm like, how's it looking? And they're like, yeah, it's. You've, I think you've not been flossing properly. Like, oh yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, this is a plaque area. Nobody showed me it. Nobody guided me. That's gonna look Here we go. I might start cramping up. <laughs> Let me know if I'm too much. Mercy. Oh. I just know holding my breath in makes it worse. <laughs> so I'm just trying to hurry. You're good, you're good. There, yeah. Nice knot. Anyway. Yeah. Wow. Shit. How have you lived so long with this back? How have you made it? Struggling. Right, I mean, just, yeah. For a while. That is a... Well, these are the monsters that you're leaning away from. Does that make sense? There's, these are the injuries and scar tissue that makes your body want to round forward. So we have to clean this tissue out to make arching back effective. And remember, it's for posterity. <laughs> that's right, that's right. That's terrible. I mean, 
mean, just it, those are multiple wounds. Don't even want to injure in the left lower, just it's definitely more scar tissue. Very quickly it came up right here. Mm -hmm. Hey, leave those to me. No <laughs> rogue popping Are you doing joints. Too? Maybe. <laughs> Especially if you tempt me. We're going to get past the tickle face, though. Uh oh, not tickle face, all right. <laughs> it still just tickles at it. Yeah. A lot of large muscles attach in your thoracolumbar junction, your lats, your traps, diaphragm, quadratus lumborum. So this area gets, you know, immobilized and stiff, mm -hmm. and that makes your lower back have to compensate and do extra. So keeping this area fluidic and soft and supple prevents and staves off lower back L5, L4 issues. Again, healthcare preventatively. This is what we want to. We don't want to leave restriction up here. Like homework, I have to give your body homework and then <laughs> you have to go home and do it. Yep. I have to come back and grade it and then we use every visit to go up this ladder 
of posture change, maybe like acclimating to a mountain. You can't just take somebody to 20,000 feet. you got to <laughs> take them up the ladder and see how they really. All right, come on. <laughs> this is the joint we're trying to adjust when you're on your side. I can't even get it to calm down either. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, come on. There, there it is. Yeah. You do a lot of running at all? Only recently. Mm -hmm. And when I was a kid, but not in the last like five years. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I think my knees about to cramp up somehow. Right, right, right. <laughs> that feels so weird. Mm -hmm. I just went right down to my knee. What's happening is he yeah, had the sciatic nerves tasering. He's, he's got so much inflammation in his glute here that by going in here, you just you have to compress it out, but temporarily you're going to activate everything by going in and feeling it. Nothing should hurt right there. I mean, just it's about a, that's about the definition of a blockade. <laughs> that is so tight. I can just feel it getting tighter too. Yep, yep. And I don't even have calves. <laughs> <laughs> right there, the tightness. Yeah, there's. You've done something to that left calf. Right there. <laughs> Seriously, the guy found the tiniest little bump, man. Come on, man. Leave it alone. There. I don't think it really exists over here. I don't think it really. That's not much. Not right that here. Wrong, though. Yeah, right there. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Didn't feel great, but it's definitely worth it. Got to get all that out of there. Eventually, as we progress through our care, those marks will not come out. It's, it's all those injuries, that's part of what you're leaning away from. So we're going to adjust you a little bit deeper here. so much better, though, already. Let's go face down for me. That's awesome. We're going to get these bones.
there. Yeah. Deep breath in. Good. All right, just breathe. We're just stretching. Okay. Mm -hmm. Breathe. Mm -hmm. Good. Very good. You got it, Em. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Just gonna stretch for a second first. Breathe in. Thanks, Comcast. Hold on. Sorry. Can't move in the cracks. It's the best part of the video. We're right at the front of the time the Comcast guy's drilling. You done? All right, breathe. Yeah, here we go. Breathe. There it is, a little bit, yeah. Yeah. Wow. A little subtle, but yeah, we got it. Go ahead and tilt your head, yeah, a little bit to the right. There we go. Yep. It's That's awesome. It's about what I thought. There we go. Tilt a little bit right. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Tilt a little bit. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> That's great. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. A little bit. All right. Yeah. Let me get the roller. That was great. <laughs> this is all I do all the time. Okay. Sometimes I almost like fall asleep right here. Good. I can crack my neck. Sometimes. No, don't don't pull your chin down. No bad boy. <laughs> no pulling your chin down. I know it'll pop with your chin down, but that's opening it up. We want to close the joint. There you go. All right. Try to put your bottom on the ground. Try try to keep the bottom down. Like drag it. There we go. Yeah. I would, we get some books. There you go. We want to, arms up. There we go. So we want to, you can do the up and down for a couple minutes to make your spine supple. The eventual goal is to do 20 minutes and you're moving around throughout that 20 minutes in about this much area. So one minute, you know. Okay. And arms are going to be to the side, like kind of nine and three. Mm -hmm. If it was like a clock, you work this angle, stretching those shoulders back, you know, working on that pec. And then like 10 and 2, 11 and 1, and then noon <laughs> kind of idea. You want to work all these angles. Oh, yeah. All that of that. does needs, feel different. You'll master one of them and then need to work on the other angles. <laughs> oh, and that's then nice. Feet together, knees together. Bring your knees to the right. Stretch. Yeah, eventually <sighs> your knees touch the ground one day. <laughs> really? <Yes. laughs> it's supposed to work like that? <laughs> you know, eventually... Your body just comes back, and you know you. <laughs> I'm jealous. I know, I know. You, well, watch me for a second, turning. You're just coming down. You're dragging your bottom. Yep. Uh, just there's injuries. There's scar tissue back there that has to be untangled. But yes. Oh, that's great. Here, it should be that. I'll get there. Supple. And we stop kind of right about here. If you're, we don't want to go into your lower back. So we stop mm -hmm. middle thoracolumbar junction, and then you just sort of come back the way you came, back up to here, you know, one minute. And, and where it's more difficult, you want to be spending more time. So if you find a more difficult spot, stay on it for five minutes if you can. And then okay. I use the knee side to side to help move the pressure around so I can take it for longer. Mm -hmm. um, the book behind your head just helps to make the difficulty so, not so high that you have to get off. So time is more important than depth. Yeah, yeah. The visits will work hand in hand with stretching. So the more you get worked on, the less difficult this is. The more you stretch, the more less difficult the adjustments are. They both go hand in hand. If it was easy, you wouldn't need to be here. Exactly. <laughs> so I'm this, here. This is, hey, put your hands there. You're good, you're good. All right, head back, come on. Hey, hands, hands up. up. Yeah, you're good. Or just this little box over here, yeah. You're already, so I just move this much behind your head. We just, and you try to end on a high note. I didn't even know I still had something there. I know, you still got one. <laughs> I don't want to dishearten you so much. <laughs> <laughs> he just came over and laid on the roller, put his head on the ground like it was nothing. Oh. I know, I know. 
I had Dr. Bose, my father, working on me since I was a baby. You know, if my back wasn't, you know, flexible, it'd be kind of sad. I'd be like, well, what's going on here? <laughs> the orthodontist child's teeth is all crooked. would be like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> your dad's an orthodontist? What's wrong with your teeth? <laughs> uh, well, we couldn't afford it. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. I know. Then you broke. And run away, run away. So go back to where you came a little bit. Yep. Do it. Oh, give him a hug. Yeah, give him a hug. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>